you want to do you want to start with that then, Ted? Really? Ah, here we go. Because you can cut it and do what you like after it. Exactly. Right. When restoring um, old vehicles or anything, in actual fact, um, when it's so old, it's generally worn out, and it's difficult to find something to replicate because you haven't got a good pattern to go by. So now what I'm trying to do here is replicate a foot pedal which belongs to an old 1926 Jowett in which they had it on the clutch and also on the foot brake but they had their emblem on it and as you can see that's what I got now in order to try and envisage what it really looked like I tried to highlight the higher parts in other words to make it look clearer and then I've got to go into making, I'll call it a draft, of what it should look like or what we think it looked like. And this I've done here. And then I've got somebody who kindly done it with a laser on a piece of wooden material. I've also tried getting some of the highlights by making a mould of the originals to try and highlight it which didn't work very well so this is why I've done this I'll call it a graft or design as how we think it should look like and then when the, as I said previously they lasered it for me kindly I then come to making the rubber molds so what I do and there's two ways of doing this there's that type of rubber mold and this is not actually rubber it's a silicone now the difference being that if you get a glue pot such as this and you put this type of material in there, heat it and it melts and you, you haven't got to overheat it, you've got to watch it carefully so as soon as it becomes liquefied you then pour it over this and as you can see that will be like that and then when we remove it we have this and then which I, when I've done that I then get another I call it chemical two chemicals like this those are mixed 50-50 and the result is something like this and then the other way of doing it which I was telling you about is the silicone type you get this and mix it together. Now the difference being that there you can use again because you can remelt it. With this, once you've made it, you can't use the material again, which is this silicone here. But with the silicone, you get a better detail. And the disadvantage of using this, when you use chemicals sometimes, when they're mixed they give off a heat and if you're unlucky enough because this is reheatable it may disfigure the mold you want but with this that doesn't happen so that's why I prefer this to that although this is more expensive and you can only use it the once you get the finer detail as I said so